Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Palia is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issue which is happening for many of these right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the worker now. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. So just go over here in the start icon. Go to the power icon over here and go for a restart. So once the restart is done, just try launch the game and that will be working fine. And this is what we have to do as the first step. Next one is all about nothing but we have to try launch the game from the not from the Steam but from the installation folder. So most of us launch the game from Steam. So that is why in some cases we have the issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. We have two methods to navigate to the installation folder. When we have a shortcut from the Steam, right click on the game, go to the properties, install it file and just click on the browse. So that will take you to this particular folder. If you check at the top that this PC, localist C, program for x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Palia. Now from here we have to launch the game. So this is the application, we just need to launch the game and that is what we have to do. So just launch the game from here, that is what we have to do. So in most cases, when you launch the game from the installation folder, these kind of issues such as, you know, uh, crashing and all these things has to be fixed in most cases, so just launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but, we have to launch the game from the installation folder. Apart from this, we have to run the game as an administrator and we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. So hence, we're in the installation folder, I'll be showing you both steps from here itself. So just right click on the application, go to show more options, go to the properties, go to compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode, set this to Windows 7, go for apply or you can set this to Windows 8, go for apply. Next one, click on run this program as administrator, go for apply and go for ok as well. So both can be done, you have to run the game in the administrator and you have to run the game in the compatibility mode as well. Once everything is set, we just need to close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to make sure that you have to uh, set the language, not the language, date, time and region. So just go over here in the search, navigate to settings, go over here in the time and language. Make sure the date and time select this one. Make sure time, time zone and everything should be all these three things should be turned on. We just need to go back go to the language and region. Now from here we have to select this one, set the country according to geography. For example, if you're from United States, you have to select United States. If you're from United Kingdom, you have to select United Kingdom. Once you set this up, just close this, try launching the game. You can also try launching the game and you have to press Alt and Tab together while you're hitting on the play button. I don't know how this is related or it's not, is it gonna work for you guys or not, but I found this from the Reddit. So this helped many users for most of the game so you can try this over as well. Next one is all about nothing but we have to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search, search for control panel. Now we just need to click on this one. Now navigate to the system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow and import feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here we have to keep scrolling down and navigate to P. That is Palia. Keep on scrolling down and navigate to Palia. And right now, as you can see, the Palais is already added. Make sure both the private and public both has to be marked or else we'll be having the trouble. So just mark it both the, both the private and public both has to be marked here. And once you set this up, just close this and we have to try launch the game. So allowing the game to Windows security help in many uses. So that is why I'm recommending you. We can try this out as well. Next one is all about, we have to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer. We have to navigate to documents and from here you can see there are a lot of folders. So when you're launching the game and saving it will be having a folder like here for the Palia. So just delete the folder and keep in mind when you do when, when you delete it you will be losing all the progressions of the game. But even though it is fine it worth a lot it helps to fix these kind of issue. Next one is all about nothing but we have to unplug all the external USB devices. So we might be connected with, for example, external joysticks might be connected or any other peripherals might be connected, which is causing the issue up. So just unplug everything. After everything is unplugged, you have to launch the game. 
Once you launch the game, now you can connect back the controllers. Once you're in the game and it is smooth, you can just connect back the peripherals and you're fine with it. It will not be having an issue. But even though if it's already connected, just unplug everything and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search, type system configuration, search for system configuration and we have to open this. Now go for services and we have to go for uh, disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for ok. Now we have to go for restart. So it is quite important that you have to go for restart because uh, I am here in the middle of shooting so I am not going for restart but you have to go for restart. Once the restart is done, just go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to disable the steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. If it is enabled, we have to disable this, try launching the game. And also you can try giving the commands in the launch option, which is a very important step, which helped with many users that is giving the command that is DX11. So try with DX11. If DX11 is not working, we can try with DX12. So either the DX11 will be working or DX12 will be working. Any one of the things will be working in most cases. So DX11 or DX12 will be working. So once you give in the commands in the launch option, we have to try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application. So just go over here in the game, right click. We have to go to the task manager. Now from here you can see there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are actually utilizing the performance of a computer. So at the same time when you launch the game and many things are running in the background, it is a common sense and we have understood that we will be having the crashing issue. So it is very important that we have to remove the unwanted things from here or the things which is draining out your performance can be removed from here. For example, Discord, Reva Tuner, MSA Afterburner, all these things can be removed from here which comes to the category of overlay and overclocking application. Once everything is successfully removed, just close this and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the search, search for graphics settings. So just click on settings over here. Now from here we have to add the game. As you can see I have already added many games. In the same way we have to add the game. Just click on the browse. Now we have to navigate to this PC. Go to local disk C. Go to program file x86. Go for steam. Navigate to steam apps. Now we have to go to the common. Now from here we have to add the game. That is Palia. So hence it is an alphabet just go to Palia. Now from here go to engine, binaries, win64. Sorry, not this one. Just go back. Content. Uh, not this one, sorry. I just got this one. Binaries, Win64. Now we have to select the game and add it. So the game is added. So just click on the option. By default, this is let Windows decide. We have to change this to high performance and now go for save. So whenever you launch the game, you will not be having the issue. And once afterward, just close everything. Go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here, search for view advanced system setting. Just click on this one. Go for the advanced tab, go to the settings once again, go to the advanced once again and go for change. Select this, uh, un uh, do not select this one. If you select this, you will not be able to select the local list. So just uncheck this and select the local list where the game is installed. And in my case, it is C. Now go for the custom size. Set the value initial size that is 1.5 times rotel RAM and the maximum size 3 times rotel RAM. So we need a calculator, just go over here. Now type the RAM of a computer. So if you don't know how to check the RAM of a computer, just go to the settings. Now from here navigate to the system. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to about. From here you will be able to understood that is installed RAM is 32 GB. So just close this. Type your RAM. 32 GB is the RAM and you have to multiply with a constant value 1024. Now multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 14 and 152 and we have to paste it. Next one the maximum size 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 copy this value and we have to paste it. Once it has been set once every value has been set just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. The NVIDIA users has to go over here, select everything like the product type should be selected. Product series should be selected according to your PC's configuration. And you have to select which one is yours and you have to select the OS according to it. 
and go for start search now when you go for the start search what happens is the latest released versions of graphics card will be available here so the 551.86 which is the driver version which is released on 19th of march which is few days back you can this is the latest one so just download this one install restart is mandatory and try launching the game if you're on the amd just go to the amd over here and select every details and go for submit now from here if you're on windows 11 download this one and if you're on windows 10 download this one install restart is a mandatory try launch the game and if you're on the latest version of you can also try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus and if the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 download this one and install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game we can also try moving to the next one that is all about nothing but we can uh, do like this we can also update the windows which is quite important so just go over here in the search go for the settings go for windows update and just update the windows so updating the windows which help with many users because for running these kind of games the windows should be up to date if you have any kind of these kind of cumulative update just update it and once afterwards just launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to uninstall and reinstall the game because even this worker i know this sounds crazy because you have to install it back but even though it helped many users so just go to the game right click over here and go to the manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you have to keep in mind you should not be installing it back on local disc c because you have to try a new local disc that is what you have to do and the last and the least step is all about we have to verify integrity of game file which will cross check whether if any files are corrupted or not which will be helping guys out so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and this is what we have to do so just wait this to reach 100% Now the files are successfully validated, just close this and try launch the game and that will be working fine. So these possible workarounds can be done, I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video, peace out, bye bye.